In our last video, we created a monochromatic 2D pattern using horizontal and vertical elements created by multiple video oscillators and a key generator module. In this video, we're going to walk through the process of colorizing this pattern or mixing it into the RGB color space. I'm going to patch the shape we've created to the colorize input on Visual Cortex. Next, let's display the output of Visual Cortex on our second monitor. In order to view the colorize input on Visual Cortex, we need to enable the mix going to channel A. Now if we adjust the color offset knobs on Visual Cortex, we can assign a color to the pattern that we've created. And of course, any sort of fine-tune adjustment is possible with the RGB knobs. Cortex has another feature called the Spectrum Mode. In Spectrum Mode, colors near black will get mapped to red, colors near gray will get mapped to green, and colors near white will get mapped to blue. A colorizer such as this works on the linear edge of the input. So if we made the edges of our shape softer on doorway, we get a more linear behavior out of the red, green, and blue gradient that is being created by the colorized feature. This is a great starting point for a patch because we still have the channel A and channel B inputs on Visual Cortex available for other signals. For example, we could send one of the ramp outputs on Visual Cortex into another color. And mix that in with our other pattern. This patch works great in concert with the analog effects on Visual Cortex's compositor section. If we turn Solarize on, and then move some of the color bias controls into a subtracting position, we achieve color solarization. We could also invert the colors of the output. Next, we could add some other signals into the B channel input of Cortex. I'm sending it some alternate wave shape outputs of some of the video oscillators we're using to create the composite image. If we adjust the crossfader, we can see what's going directly into the B channel input and back to our original shape mix. Next, we might try some of Cortex's different blending modes. Here's what multiply mode looks like. And here's the additive mode. I'm liking how that looks, so I'm going to apply a cycling modulation to that. We've got some nice emotion going on here, so I'm going to unsynchronize one of the video oscillators to create an opposing scrolling motion. Adjusting its frequency to a multiple of the frame rate creates smoothly scrolling vertical bars. At this point, you can really build upon the complexity that's being created by your patch. I'm going to try a little cross modulation. I'm going to send this prismatic ray and I'm going to use it to modulate the bars created by this one. And why don't we unsynchronize this prismatic ray and have it scroll in the opposite direction of the other one. In a follow-up video, we'll look at other techniques for colorizing video signals. 
such as RGB mixers like the Color Chords module. Thank you for watching. Thank you.